Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for December 20th, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, uh, we have two fours here, looking at this box, and this four looks up. So there's a four in one of these two. We use corner marks to designate that within a specific box, that digit is limited to those cells within that box. And generally I'll do two, sometimes three if they line up in the same row column, never if they like turn a corner. Um, and that's just uh, so I don't get confused. I just looked at this three and saw that it joins this three, and we can actually place a three here. I think looking at this vertical some more will be helpful. We get two sixes and this six. So this six is placed. Definitely helpful. Um, I'm looking for anything that's not already in this box that's, that is up here, like this eight and nine. Yeah, that's super helpful. The eight is placed, and then that's also going to place the nine now because it can't go here anymore. And then we're left with two digits, which is two and five, which is not resolved, but we can write that pair in. Center marks we use to say, hey, this cell is can only be these candidates. Um, so it's cell-centric. The corner marks are box-centric. The center marks are cell-centric. Um, OK, I'm looking at, yeah, I was, um, I'm looking at this column to see what's, what else is needed and trying to see if there's any cross like eliminations, um, like this seven, for example, can't go here. So let's just think about what the column needs. It's just three digits. It's one, four, and seven. So neither of these are four. So we can place the four here. And then this is going to be a one, seven pair. Um, three, four, six, eight. So this eight looks up, putting an eight in one of these two. The seven looks up, putting a seven in one of these two. There is this seven taking it out of here. So this is not seven or eight, and it's not two. So it's down to, let's see, if we count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? It's down to at most two digits. So what are they? They're a one, they're not two, three, four, it could be five, and it should be not be able to be anything else. Six, seven, eight, and nine, yeah. So our count was accurate. <laughs> so one, what, what does this column need? This column does need a two. Yeah, it needs one, two, five, seven. Hmm. This is two, five, seven. This is, ooh, this isn't one or five. So this is only two, seven. Ooh, it's not seven either, actually. Look, it's not one, five or seven. So it has to be the two. And then we're left with a one, five, seven triple down here, which is actually cleaned up a little bit, and then this is going to be a pair, uh, two, 2 and 8. Nice. And that's resolved. OK, I knew this stack would be fruitful, but not this fruitful. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. We need 5 and 9 here, and we can actually finish those. There we go. Very nice. All right, now I'm going to look at this uh, this band again. It's going to be a bit better. Yeah, 5 is one of these two. Um, we got the 4s already. So I'm gonna just going to look at all of these digits and how they look left. So these 2s look left. Uh, the six looks left. There's no sixes below. The three uh, joins the two. And then the four we already got. Okay. Now this is full, so we want to look at anything not in this box that is present over here. So the eight, for example, I was looking to see if there's anything else, but there is not. So just the eight. So the eight's up here. And so now we ask where's eight in this row? And the answer is it can only go here. And then this can't be one, so that's seven, that's one, that's seven. Nice, even more digits. Um, I'm, no, I'm following up on what we placed, so these eights I'll look in. So there's an eight in one of these two. The seven is placed. These two sevens look down, the seven looks in. That's not a seven, so seven goes there. Um, that does put a seven somewhere over here. Okay. Um, what does this top row need? It needs one. Three, four, six, eight. So none of these can be eight, right? So this can't be four. One, three, six, then. You know, I don't think I'm going to center mark much up here right now. Because I don't think we're going to have any naked singles. Um, these can't be seven, though. Yeah, so these sevens line up. So seven's down here, but I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Let's move on to the next band. We have these two twos, so there's a two and one of these two. Six was almost interesting, but it's not quite good enough. Like I said, I don't corner around corners like this. 
Um, anything else? The five, we're sure like, no. So we got the two. Can't do seven, can't do one. Interesting. All right, guess I'm moving on. This bottom band looks nice, though. Uh, we got two fours down here. This four looks down. I don't know why I highlighted all that. Um, we got the sevens already. The nines go up here. The eights go in here. There's not a lot of up-down um, stuff going on here. This is completely empty. We do have two twos looking down. So twos are here. Let's just do verticals real quick, make sure I didn't miss anything. We got the eights already, the sevens are done, the fives don't have a buddy. Do they have a crossing? They kind of have a crossing. This five and this five look in. So five's in one of these two cells. That's good to mark. Um, eights we got fours. Not much to do with fours. Yeah, they're here. Sevens are done, eights, nines. Anything to do with nines? Yeah, okay. So we have this five nine and this five nine. So th the way I saw this was just that nines are in here. So or nine, nines look in here and I recognize that that was the same as the fives, but also we don't have to recognize that because we have our corner marks. So what are these five nine corner marks telling us? Well, first of all, none of the other cells in the box have five or nine in them in terms of corner marks. And so f both five and nine are limited to these two cells. That's what our corner marks are telling us. Well, we need two cells for five and nine. So those must be the two cells for five and nine. So these can't be anything other than five or nine. Uh, how many times can I say five or nine? Um, these can't be anything other than five or nine. Otherwise, uh, we would not be able to fit both five and nine into the box. So they are five, nine. Most importantly, this isn't a two anymore. So now there's only one place in the box for two, which is here. Now there's only one place for eight, which is here. Uh, these eights line up, so we can stick some eights up here. Uh, we got the two as well. Um, I don't think there's anything to do with twos, though, unfortunately. This is a 5-9 pair, though, right? So this is going to be a triple remaining. We need a three. We need a four. Ooh, four is actually in only one place. Look, this four looks up, and this four looks in. So this is the four. I don't know why I erased the three. Um, uh, I guess I get this four as well. That's kind of nice. Um, what, what are the remaining two digits? Three and what? Three and six. Okay, I think it's just a pair. There we go. Um, okay, we got this four. Let's look at this top row for a second. We need one, six, eight, nine. Um... Yeah, this one's not one or eight. Okay, I'm just gonna fill it out at this point. One, six, eight, nine. I feel like we're nearing the end of the puzzle. And when we start nearing the end of the puzzle, I'm more willing to just pencil stuff in because it'll help finish the puzzle faster at that point. Um, because it there's not much else to mask. Like the reason I don't pencil mark a bunch of stuff early is it can mask some of the logic and make it harder to see some of the scanning. But if I'm at the point where I think we're basically just down to singles, I'll just I'll just pencil it all. Um, and that'll help find those. Um, so it's all just down to judgment at that point. Uh, six in this column can only go here. That's a three. Um, this what, What's the other digit this needs, though? Oh, it's one and three. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any ones looking in. Okay. Um, I think there might be... Hmm, I was going to say there might be something affecting this box. Let's just think about what it needs. It needs one, two, three, five, six. The one's looking in. So one's in one of these, one of these two. One, two, three, five, six. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything super special about that. Okay. Um, how about up here? We got the the six here. We got the three. Yeah, the threes line up. Oh, and this three looks down, so that places this three. This is not a five, so this is one or nine only. This is a triple for the row. We need one, uh, six, seven. So six can only go here in the row, and then this is down to one, seven. 
Okay, we got this three and six. So these threes look down, this three looks in. So threes and one of these two. These corner marks are getting very confusing. <laughs> There's so many. Um, the six, two sixes look down and the six looks in. So six is one of these two. At this point, I may as well just pencil the whole box, but let's see. Um, by pencil, I mean center mark. Um, let's focus on these two that have, yeah, especially this one, which can't be a one either. So it can't be one, it could be two. Uh, it can't be three, four. Um, I think it could be five, unfortunately. So it's not a naked single. It can't be six. We have those cornered here. Yeah, there's a six. We have the sevens corner. We have the eights and the nines. Okay. So that is a two five pair, though. So that's not terrible. So the remaining row is three, four, six. This, this one can't be three or four. So we get the six. Very nice. Now, if we look at our corner marks carefully, the only cell left with six is this one. That removed a seven and an eight. Um, so now this is a hidden seven, eight pair. The only two places for seven, eight. Oops, seven, eight. So this one can't be a two anymore. But we do have two places for two still. But this is one, two, five. One can only go here in the row. That's a three. That's not a three. So now three has only one place. Now four has only one place. I should clean this up up here. Seven, one, and five, one, and seven. Yeah, I definitely should have cleaned that up earlier. All right. It's OK. I was focused over here. I wanted to make sure I followed up on everything. Um, there's just a 2-5 pair left in this box. That means this can't be 2. This is the 3 for the column. That's the 2. This is 1 and 8. That's an 8. 7 goes here. What are these? These are... We need a 2. So the 2... No, we don't need a 2. Sorry. I misscanned. We need a 4 and a 9. So yeah, this is the... Oops. This is the 4. This is the 9. Um, let's see. This is 5 and something. 5 and 9. Okay, so that's 9, that's 5. That's a 9 now. That's a 2. You get the 5 and the 2, the 5 and the 2, and then the remaining digits are 1 and 5, which go like that, and we're done. All right. Okay, so yeah, definitely focusing on this middle stack early was extremely helpful. It basically completed itself. And then looking at this, this band afterwards was very helpful. So um, yeah, choosing the order of bands and stacks in a way that you think you're going to get a bunch of info early can definitely help you finish the puzzle faster or more cleanly. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.